Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is your astrological update for the whole of May 2018. And my goodness, we have something extraordinary happening this month as Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, is changing. And this hasn't happened for seven years. So it's about to drop a bomb of genius and unpredictability into our life. Here's your monthly astrology. Taurus, Taurus, wow! You're in for a very interesting seven years and it all begins this month. Everything is changing. The universe is bringing you electricity, genius, strange and peculiar situations and you are being, when I say forced, I know you don't like that word, but you're being shook up, as Elvis would say. You're being shaken to your core, you're being urge to be your truly unique self there's no hiding there's no security you're being confronted with the wonder of the universe um, and it all kicks off this may but let's start at the beginning first of all keep your wits about you when it comes to groups of people on the 7th of may as venus your ruler is squaring neptune the illusion uh, delusional one uh, but the spiritual one you can have a lot of compassion, a lot of understanding, but somebody may try to convince you to cross a boundary on that day. You know, your heart's in the right place, but be as practical as possible. The sun is trying Pluto on the 12th, and the sun is in your sign. Of course, it's your month, and you are feeling very confident, and Pluto is going, come on then, let's go. Let's have an adventure. Let's do something differently. And that's really the main message of this month anyway. Um, and for once, you feel open to doing that. We do have the Moon conjunct Mercury and Uranus squaring Mars on the 12th also. So there's a lot of emotions going around. You're, you're feeling plugged into the spiritual mains and lots of answers from the universe await you if you prick up your ears and listen to the wisdom of your soul. With Mercury conjunct Uranus on the 13th of May as well, which happens to be my son's birthday. Happy birthday, Julienne. Uh, certainly, it's a day where you have a profound insight into your own soul, into other people's souls. There may be a psychic message. It might be the temptation to get drunk or lose yourself. I'd avoid that because there's so much information that's important for you to receive on the 13th of May particularly as Mercury, the planet of communication, is going into your sign. You have the gift of the gab. Your words are magic spells, so use them wisely. And on the 15th, we have a new moon in your sign. Trine, Mars and Pluto in your house of adventure. So, you know, and also that's the same day that Uranus goes into your sign. This is a profoundly important month for you and you should get a sign or a message about what direction things are going to go in on the 15th. Also, commit to change. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you commit to being open to the flow of the universe because that's going to be your easiest route. And if you want security, it comes from flexibility, not only this month, but ongoing. And many adventures are awaiting you and they will be exciting and they, they'll be easier than you think if you allow that energy in. Mars is entering your career zone. You're passionate about your work, but you may end up saying something or doing something as it's square Uranus that kind of tips the balance in some way. So just be careful. With Mercury, try and Saturn, you're quite keen to settle down, but also to grow and do things differently and stretch your own boundaries. 
Venus is shifting signs on the 19th and going into your communication zone. You're flirty, you're open, other people are very responsive to what you've got to say. There could be an unexpected lover or flirtation because also it's sextile Uranus. So look out for someone who's probably a bit wacky but exciting that could be coming into your life in May. The sun is shifting signs and leaving your sign on the 21st but it's making you feel quite confident about yourself and with Mercury sextile Neptune on the 23rd you're in touch with your compassion and your connection to the whole and feeling at one with the universe. With the sun trying Mars on the 24th that's a great day to get things done when it comes to your career and to think about how to make more money or create more abundance. We also have Venus opposite Saturn on the 26th. Make sure that you're walking the talk, not just talking the talk when it comes to adventure and learning. We have a full moon on the 29th and the full moon is taking you deep. You're going into some very intense emotions and conversations and some very deep connections. You're feeling quite primal. The full moon is shining a light into your unconscious uh, shining a light into the corners of yourself that maybe contain fears and you are able to liberate yourself from fears with this full moon but you have to kind of stand tall and face them mercury shifts signs and leaves your sign on the 30th of may so if you want to be charming and persuasive do it before then although it's likely after the 30th of may you're going to make some kind of commitment and there could be a new contract for you Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.